Hi, my name is Cheryl Jones, and I'm playing at the Mid-Atlantic Jazz Festival, the fifth annual, in the club room on Saturday, February 15th at 9.30 p.m. I'm playing with some stellar musicians. Benji Parecki is on piano, Zach Pride is on bass, Mark Prince is on drums. This band is fantastic. And I've never played with them, but I've heard them many times. I love Benji's soulful playing and his really steady, uh, feeling, full of feeling kind of interpretation. He can play anything. And I will be probably asking him to play lots of different styles. Zach Pride I have worked with before in different uh, bands and he's a young musician who's also very, very creative in the way he plucks that bass. So I'm really looking forward to having him. And Mark Prince, who I've played with maybe once, is really uh, very active on his interpretations and very, very, very uh, good jazz player. So I'm looking forward to putting this band together for the first time. I'll be looking at the Great American Songbook and doing those jazz standards that I love, but we'll also be adding a twist. I'll be doing, for instance, Stevie Wonder's Overjoyed and maybe a Latin style. I may add in People Make the World Go Round um, in a jazzy style. And I'll also be asking a very, very important person to me, Sheikh Diop, Master C, to join me on a song called Same Old Story, which talks about and looks at the state of the world and how things change, but things stay the same. So I want you to come out and listen and enjoy and feel the music and the soul of jazz. What got me to start singing? Well, it was way back in elementary school when I realized that I did enjoy singing and I sang in the little choirs, but I do remember the first time I was on stage by myself. I was in about first grade and I played a yellow top and my mother made me a yellow dress. And I remember the song talking about spinning until I dropped and I spun until I dropped and I just remember feeling so good, so alive. And that was about seven years old. And then at eight, I started taking piano lessons and took piano lessons with the same teacher for 10 years and then continued into college and continued to play as a music teacher. But I knew that I really loved jazz when I heard Nancy Wilson and Joe Williams and Wes Montgomery and all of the jazz players that my father would play on the stereo. And I started singing jazz when I moved here to Washington, D.C. with a little jazz group called Oasis. I auditioned and got into a jazz group. I had sang jazz in high school. I went to the high school for performing and visual arts and sang a little jazz there. But solo jazz started in that group, an octet, where we really covered the standards from Duke Ellington to Richard Rogers, And I really fell in love with those songs. And then I discovered I was led to Ronnie Wells and Ron Elliston and their workshop. And since then, I've never looked back. I love the music, I love the words, I love the melodies, I love the creativity that goes into it, and I love it. I think people have heard jazz, even if it's in the elevators. And so they know the songs, everybody knows Summertime, everybody knows God Bless the Child. So they already have an appreciation, I would think, to those songs. I think we as artists have to continue to infuse feeling, emotion, creativity, and our own sense of what the words, the songs mean, particularly as vocalists we have the gift of lyrics. So we really have to feel them ourselves and then share that feeling with our audience so that they are moved and they are healed 
with these songs and that they feel good or they feel sad or they are have greater access to the things that they're going through. So I think if we continue to do our job to practice, to continue to feel and find new stories within the stories and relate that, whether we add new rhythms, add Brazilian rhythms, soulful rhythms, but still keep those songs alive, I think that will attract new fans. So please come and share with me the joy of jazz, the songs that you love, maybe some new songs with a band that's incredible, very energetic. We're going to rock and roll. We're going to sing the ballads and feel those deep, sorrowful kinds of feelings. We're going to be inspired to keep on keeping on. All together, 9.30 p.m. Saturday, February 15th, day after Valentine's Day. I'll be singing the songs of love, 9.30 in the club room at the Mid-Atlantic Jazz Festival. See you there. How I dream I might be like the velvet